There's a, well, uh, a petition or a request uh, or a call by the, National, the Youth. National Youth Commission mm -hmm. on the Sangguniang Kabataan to uh, join them in the fight against uh, the communist insurgency. Uh, what do you think of that coming <laughs> from the National Youth Commission? Anyway, I think na katagot ano. Uh, recently, that attached agency ang National Youth Commission and DSWD with a mandate na yun yata tumulong sa kabataan. Ngayon nilipat yung <coughs> attach, yung paging attach niya sa DILG particularly on the mandate of uh, pushing for uh, yun nga, yung, yung communities, ang sangguniang kabataan communities, na, yun nga, na, na tumulong dito sa all-out all out war or itong nangyari against the CPP-NPA. At mas nakakabahala yun. Uh, yun nga, uh, nabanggit mo, nanggaling din ako sa National Youth Commission. And um, nung nakita namin yung sitwasyon, even the officials of the NYC were commenting na mas bilib pa nga ako sa mga namumundok kaysa sa nagrarally. Na, yun yung nakatakot na klima. Naisipin mo, you're, you're arming, no, in, kung hindi man to, hindi man, hindi man to armas, ano, pero you're arming them with skills, <coughs> with, 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 uh, with this kind of information to say na uh, tumulong sa profiling at pag, pagtugis ng mga tao sa komunidad. Yun yung nakatakot. This is around 400,000. When we pushed for the reform of the Sangguniang Kabataan, it, it, it was different. Iba yung mindset. Diba, nilagyan mo ng dynasty clause, nilagyan mo ng... Uh, provisions mm -hmm. to help them be more independent. Pero yung nangyayari ay nagiging arm siya ng government. So, ano ba to? Whole of government approach? Ganyan na pati mismo yung youth agency na may mandato na tumugon sa issues ng kabataan, hindi na tinutugunan. Okay. So, yun nakabahala talaga siya.